Hi, I'm Fred with Quality Wood Engravers. I'm going to show you how to engrave on a Unica. Uh, do plastic engraving. I'm just going to flip it on. Back here is a, a chip removal system with a one gallon canister. And this is uh, our Q&E nose assembly. I'm going to go ahead and screw that on the bottom of your spindle. Now the original uh, vise sometimes comes with these risers on there. These were a little bit too high and, and you had issues with, with the height, not, with your clearance not being enough. These are the ones that we just provided for you. And you can see they're a little bit shorter and they just screw down into it. Typically they will be a little bit tight, but in time they will loosen up. So you usually want to have a screwdriver available to you to tighten it in. So I'm going to just make sure this one back here is tight. So ours are on there. Now these are your original jaws that you have. One of the problems are that when you're engraving, if you engrave near the edge, the nose will hit. So when you're using nose engraving, it will hit right there. Now a couple things to counteract that is you double back tape a piece of material on here and then, then when you engrave using these you clamp this down. I didn't want to glue those down and then for the other side you use this. But we also provided you with my uh, set of jigs and these are cut the proper depth. So we'll use mine and these will go on pretty tight usually. We're going to start with a bigger sign. Push those down and I'll start with a piece of material in here. Usually I want to start with something just a little bit smaller for setting the tool. So this will hold, even on the longer side, it will hold a one inch piece no problem. So I'm going to arrow over to the material. come across and I'm over the material. Now the initial setting that I start with is I go all the way to the top and right now it's on 20 so I'm going to wind it down to zero. So there's my first zero so I have 20 thousandths of uh, depth I can give it and for good measure I'm going to go down one additional zero, one full turn so now I have 20 and 25. Every turn is 25 thousandths. So this will be my zero. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do a Z set. So I press the letter Z and then arrow down. Okay, I'm touching the material. Now I've got these cutters already preset, but I'm going to go ahead and set it again. So this is a cutter well out of adjustment. Which me, which in my term is just too short. I'm going to zero it. Not a bad idea to look at this number up here. The number is 0 0.210. So if you come back to it later today or you turned off the machine, you can just slew it down to that number and call it your cutter set value. So I'm going to touch it on the material and tighten it up. So currently the the material and the nose and the cutter are all at the same length. And then I provided you what I call a cutter length adjuster. And that's this tool here. So this is for setting all your tools the same length. And the way you do it, you've got this dowel pin, kind of push it up against your stomach, hold it down, tighten this up, and this one is 
your tool is set and then set all your other tools to be the same length. So that you'll be able to indiscriminately change your tool and not have it cut deeper. Okay, so all of them are set. And now I'm going to, I'll put in the 25. And I'm going to hit the check mark to accept. And the arrow key, or the X and the arrow key, just to get it out of the way. And now I want to expose, on this material, 15 thousandths of the of the cutter. So I'm winding this up from 0 to 15. So you can see the numbers increasing. I went 5, 10, and then 15. Now this is the computer. I'm going to set up a job. This is how your computer will start up. So I'm going to just any key but pause, even though that's what it says. So I'm going to just put in a plate, one arrow to the right, uh, 5, arrow to the right, F12, I'll just make that um, 0.375, and um, I think there's an R4, and I'll just type in 1, 2, 3, okay, and then I'm going to hit the right enter, the numeric enter, enter, so this is what it should engrave, so I'm going to hit F1, and then I need to arrow over, Oops, and change the depth point, oops, point zero two zero. So I know I'm cutting 15, and that's going to give me about 15, five thousandths of over travel. And this is set a little bit tight. So this will be your over travel that the spindle will, will give you. So I should be just about ready to engrave. I just want to make sure that rotation is on so you press the rotation and it said motor yes okay so and I can feel the cutters just barely sticking out I hit F1 again it will oh and I need to turn on my chip removal I just have a switch back there want to move the cutter head out of the way, you just hit X and then press the arrow just to get it out of your way. And there's the part engraved. Now, let me just flip the, the vacuum does not turn on automatically. There's going to be a switch right here that you need to turn on and off. But you can see you can do small stuff and circular stuff with this unit. And you can see that the cut in this material, if you feel your hand over it, the material is actually just a little bit thicker than the, than the undercut. So if you need to come very, very close to the top line, it's not going not gonna to hit. Um, and let's do the same job. Actually, I'm going to do the same job, and I'm going to just change it so I'll just go F1 F1 and it will start You can see what kind of a mess it leaves if you don't have the chip removal on, but now I'm going to go ahead and just change out the cutter, and because they're all set, these are just good look cutters to have. This one's a 60, which was yours. Screw it in, 
have tight. Also, always make sure that the nose is real tight at the bottom. And I'm going to just alter this job just a little bit. Um, F12, F12. I'm going to change it to um, 0.7 high letter. Arrow to the right. And I'm going to change this um, alignment or is a justification. And I'm going to change it to the left. So it's an engrave off to the left. And if I hit the right inner, oops, right inner, inner. So you'll see it'll be one, two, three off to the left. And right in there again, F1, and then F1. So you can see how nice it is to have all your cutters the same length so you can just swap them in and out. Oftentimes on a name badge, the name will be bigger than their title. So being able to switch cutters. And there's your engraving.